Thanks for visiting me here in Rivenal at Church Folks. Glad to have you. Thanks again for stopping by to visit me at Church Folks. I appreciate all who give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my videos. When I post additional videos, those who are subscribers will be notified by email that I have posted. A follow-up study of the topic Bible versus Holy Bible will be to further understand how the word uses has been changed during the translations, the revisions, and the dictionaries through the years. Each language and translation has various translation errors which change the meaning of the original Hebrew and Greek words. One of the biggest problems in biblical history is the lack of independent learning and studying the true text of the Hebrew and the Greek writings. Studying from the text of today's revised Bibles will derail us from God's truth. Understanding the life and history of the Old Testament writing is very challenging. Having the correct interpretation of those writings from the beginning of time to the birth of Christ leaves a huge void. Translations of the Hebrew and Greek can be misunderstood. It was left up to men to translate a language they themselves did not know. The closest human beings to giving understanding to the Old Testament writings are the Africans and the Muslim natives of the land, the people whom the world today does not want to hear from, the very people who are considered un uneducated and clueless. So we will learn how one Hebrew word is mistranslated to our English language to read and the true meaning of the scripture intent has been changed and or lost. So how do we know what the in true intent was? Second Peter 1 and 20 says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. God knew man would be led by Satan to change his word as he did with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. As Jesus spoke to the people in parables so his followers would understand him, God hid his truths, his precepts, and laws in various areas of the Bible. The understanding of Bible scriptures is revealed through the power of the Holy Ghost for interpretation and understanding. Without the Spirit of God dwelling within us, giving us divine understanding, you will not be able to properly put the pieces of the Bible together to live by it. Without the Spirit of God, our understanding only leads to confusion, and contradictions of the scripture. So how do we know if what we have heard preached is accurate? How do we know if we have a complete understanding of the preached word? I have one suggestion, study. I hear all too often people quoting scriptures and adding words to fit what their hearts are saying and not what the scripture is truly saying. The feminist movement has created a major misquote of Bible scripture words and leads to a misunderstanding which is extremely dangerous of sinning against God's words according to Revelation 22, 18 and 19. They are not the only ones, but we need to study to know when we are hearing the truth. There are those who are blindly following leaders such as with Jim Jones and had no idea they were traveling in the wrong direction because they listen to man and not the Holy Spirit of God who will lead us into all truth. The purpose of this study is to equip the listeners with in-depth information so you can further your understanding of the Bible scripture. But that alone is debatable depending on the material you are studying from. All religious material is not good for sound doctrine. Just because you are reading the Bible does not mean what you are reading has not been tampered with already. To to the surprise of many, some of the text you are reading or hearing has already been changed. This reality of confused Bible principles is easily visible in the lives of people around the world. Our lives, our business ethics, our Christian love for one another may not or does not align with the Word of God. A phrase often spoken is lost in translation. 
Yet these same people are reading the word of God often, but cannot see the truth in the word in which they read because their minds have been blinded by the God of this world. His name is Satan. According to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine unto them. Satan knows the scriptures and knew Jesus. That has not changed his nature or who he is. Bible versus Holy Bible. The Bible states very clearly in Revelation the 22nd chapter, verses 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this the holy bible's origin if you took your bibles and opened the first few pages you will find the following information the name of the book the name of the publisher the editor copyrighted dates and years the scripture versions and translations these points alone will pave the path of this study i suggest you take every bible you have in your home or in your presence and compare this information Please note the book title. Does it say Holy Bible or Bible? Or does it just bear the title, the Gospel, Holy Scriptures, Book of Law, Living Words, Message of Christ, Scriptures, Sword of the Spirit, Truth, Word of God, Word of Life, or Words of the Lord? All these various Bible versions is a distraction is only a fragment of the whole problem. On top of these versions of the Bible being misleading in some Bible verses, there are many, many translations of the Bible that equally redirect God's truth into pagan worship. Please note there is a difference between versions and translations. From Wikipedia, we find information on various Bibles, translations, and this will follow in a moment. There is a long list of English Bible translations. The Bible has been translated into many languages from the biblical languages of Hebrew, Aramaic, and, and the Greek. The Latin Vulgate translation was dominant in the Western Christianity through the Middle Ages. Since then, the Bible has been translated into many more languages. English Bible translations have had a rich and varied history of more than a million. Approximately 40 different men shared in writing the Bible over a period of 1,600 years from the time of Moses through Revelation. There are several important biblical writers such as John Wycliffe and some of the others. You can read this list here. I may not pronounce these names correctly anyway, but these are a few and there are others. The first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy were written by Moses around 1,300 years BCE, which stands for Before Christ's Era. This is the most widely accepted belief for these books authored. The Bible is recognized as a collection of sacred texts or scriptures. Following is a list of English Bible translations. Uh, you can go through these. Uh, it's rather extensive. It's about 13 pages. I will not be elaborating on each one. You're welcome to stop the video at any moment and look at what the different translations are and get the information that is also provided at your own discretion.
As you can see in this list, there's 44 different versions listed here in this screenshot that you see here. So how do you know what the truth is from the written words in the Bible called the Holy Bible and or Bible? If you follow the history of these books, you will find there is other troubling issues around the men who revised these various books who were not Christians according to their lifestyles and their purpose. Tracking the source of many of these translators, you will find their association with the Roman Catholic Church originally out of the Roman government. And we know that it was wrong soldiers who persecuted the Christians and Jesus. The Roman Catholic Church took control of the religious community to establish the first church which conducted the delivery of the readings from the Holy Scriptures but was translated into Latin which the general public was unable to read because they didn't have copies of it. The Roman Catholic Church did all to control the writing materials of the prophets and the disciples with the intent to establish their hierarchy of the religious church which they established and according to the way the Roman Catholics wanted this word presented. <clears throat> they also established themselves as the only true religion. Now that we have reviewed the difference in revisions and translations, we can clearly see how confusing God's word has become because of revisions and translations. Yet, we have to clearly understand what the Bible verse really means in Revelations 22, verses 18 through 19. In many revisions and translations of the scripture, words have been altered, words removed, and words also added. There were several formulated texts used to interpret the original writings which were Greek and Hebrew. Unless you have available to you the original Hebrew and Greek manuscripts to read, and you are able to read these writings, you are not reading from the original text. Therefore, you are reading from translations and revisions, which are words from common men. God did prepare some men who were chosen to prepare the book of the Bible. How Ever, neither did they use the text translations most commonly used to translate the Greek and Hebrew in the common language of the land. From 150 AD through 515 AD, the struggle for religious control was strong by the Roman government and led to the formation of Catholic Church's legal religious law as the Holy See. The Vatican City is a country of itself and claims the right to change the laws and the precepts of Christ's word when necessary to meet the changing times of humanity. John Wycliffe took the role to translate the Hebrew old ancient text into English where others could read for themselves and not only depend on the reading through the Catholic priest for understanding. That was the first Hebrew Bible. This angered the Pope and decreed that such translations were illegal and the people who would speak of these words and read from such translations were heretics. Wycliffe was killed, burned, and ashes cast widely across the region. Since the Roman Catholic Church could not stop God's true word from being published and heard, Satan moved through the pagan beliefs and their worshippers to dilute the word by slowly changing the words through other translations and revisions which the general public would not notice, such as no longer using the word holy with the word Bible.
we must become very aware of who our enemy is. God has already told us, Ephesians 6 verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. They, the workers and supporters of Catholicism, have removed the word holy from the Bible name without many even noticing the change. You wonder why Satan has been busy from the very beginning to destroy the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. By Satan being the God of this world, he has succeeded in the lives of many, but not all. God's word is not the book. It's in his spirit which lives in us. This may be difficult for many to understand. Receiving the Holy Ghost stores the Word of God in our hearts. John 14, verses 15 through 17. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. First Corinthians 6 chapter 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Second Corinthians 6 chapter 16 verse. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. The people who has received God in their lives is the church. The building is just a meeting place where the people are to learn the word, share in testimony and praise their God. Give to the needy and feed the hungry. Is your church doing that?